all right good morning welcome gemini so i kind of got stopped in my tracks all right it's getting ready for the day I haven't even really crimped my hair but um yeah i got stopped in my tracks and we're gonna pull here from the guardian deck and we're gonna see what's going on here why am i being literally stopped in my tracks and this time of year the energy literally shifts and changes all right i get a lot of like death all right but not like not exactly like death you know itself sometimes it is so let's see what we got here what is going on here i keep seeing a knight all right let's do another shuffle and let's get to it here all right All right, so we're starting with the moon. <clears throat> so your energy might be a little broken. All right, healing. All right, so there's a healing guardian here. There's broken energy, you're broken. There's gonna be some important information, all right? You just need to trust in the higher forces here. Um, you're being opened up to some healing information, all right? You need to focus on positivity. You need to focus on good things, no matter how rough it is. Focus on good things. It's turning that pain into power. All right, so there's some healing that needs to be done here. Uh, the moon speaks of intuitive messages, all right? So you could be getting these healing, um, this healing information through your intuition. All right, and it's to help embrace the energy of peace, all right, within your soul. So let's see. Yeah, Gemini. All right. Let's do two more shuffles here and get to it. All right, last one, guys. All right, so right now, it could be a mother here that is feeling very stuck in their thoughts. All right, but that healing information is going to come. And the minute that healing information comes, it's going to unbind you from this mental prison that you've had yourself in. Three cards here for the guardians and three right off top. Speaking of somebody who needs to break free. All right. So with the justice card here, it's, it's getting that clarity, that understanding. All right. All right, let's see what comes out here for Gemini, because that was just weird. You know, I can't explain the vibes that I get. I really can't. And it gets gets a little inconvenient at times here. We have the Emperor here. <clears throat> All right. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. So you need to focus on being generous being grateful showing gratitude all right it's about structuring your energy so that way you can fall into a more peaceful energy instead of sitting here in this three of swords five of swords feeling defeated all right you're feeling broken your brokenness is making you feel defeated but there is healing information here that's going to help you rise above things all right we have a masculine energy here with the emperor all right you know, an emperor, they're, you know, the type of guy that, you know, can grow a badass beard. All right. Not all men can do that. So I like to point that out because I can help kind of set the tone. And what I'm really getting here is it's like I'm getting like there there's something trying to hug you. So pay attention to any like strange feelings. All right. I'm getting a sense of comfort. I'm getting like a very powerful, like bear-like, okay? So maybe like bear hugs, all right? Um, it could be like one of them hugs where they come up behind you and just kind of comfort you like that. All right, let's see why the emperor is here because there is a lot of trauma here. There's a lot of sadness, a lot of brokenness, feeling like three swords stuck in your heart. that noise 
Why does it look so bright out that way? But when you look up this way, it doesn't look that bright. All right, getting a bright light. Pay attention to like little orbs. All right, little balls of um, light here. We have the three of wands. All right, so yeah, this healing information, it's gonna come and it's gonna comfort you and bring some sense of peace. All right. Give me for the three of wands. We have the death card. Yeah. I know it's getting freaking death. All right. So a cycle has been completed. Whether somebody passed over or not, a masculine here with the emperor, um, it, it, death came at the appropriate time is what I am getting here. And I hate doing these types of readings because I know people can be in very vulnerable um, states. So I like to be careful what I say, but then I don't because I have to say the things that I have to say. All right. We have the moon here. It's that moon energy. Take note of intuitive messages. All right. Like vibes way that you're feeling all right give me for the death here give me for the death give me for the death we have the star <clears throat> there's that positive energy that you need to keep positivity is going to heal you so i feel like that is some of it after feeling like you were betrayed backstabbed you know, and it just puts you, it's like a ripple effect of just sadness, despair, defeat. We have the Ten of Pentacles. All right, give me for the Ten of Pentacles here. So, yeah, it's, it's, it could be a family member here with the Ten of Pentacles. All right. for the Ten of Pentacles. Give me for the Ten of Pentacles. I saw the Magician. I saw the Page of Wands. The Three of Cups. You will reunite again. I feel like that is the healing information to help bring peace and comfort into your life here. It's soul contracts that have expired. All right? And with the Three of Cups here, you will reunite with this family member and you will receive, you know, this peace of mind knowing this. But you have to really feel it and really believe that it's going to happen. All right. Energy can not be created, nor can it be destroyed. All right. And with the Page of Wands, there's somebody watching you. There's somebody watching over you. And I feel like they try to hug you. So we have three threes here. All right. Is that of significance for any of you? Number three, six, nine. All right. Give me for the three of cups. <sighs> I feel like no matter what, heartbreak, brokenness, it will defeat you. That's why it's saying... Be open to this healing information, all right? Yeah, we have here the Knight of Cups, forgiveness. All right, you may be kind of at a tug and pull here, but that's that's a burden that you're carrying, all right? You need to lighten up the load, all right? I don't know if you're feeling conflicted, if there was a fight, an argument, something here, but there is forgiveness here. Either they're wanting forgiveness you're seeking forgiveness or both. All right. We have here the nine of pentacles. All right. So we've got an earth sign here with the nine. Why is the nine of pentacles here? All right. That's I feel when you're going to be able to, um, you need to rely on your intuition is really what I'm getting. All right. Give me for the nine of pentacles. For the Nine of Pentacles for Gemini. Then we'll get this wrapped up here. For 
for the Nine of Pentacles here. We have here the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, be, oh, the deck is upside down. Be confident in your intuition is what I'm hearing. All right, I'm getting an over, now my deck is all screwed up, damn it. All right, what do we have here for the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles? I just feel like you can rely on your intuition, follow your intuition, follow this way of forgiveness and healing because that's when you're gonna be renewed. We have the tower here. Your life is in chaos and turmoil right now, so you might be just kind of in this energy of being blocked off. That's why I said I, I, get, I don't really like doing readings like this because people can feel a little resistant, a little blocked off. Um, so obviously there was some stuff going on here that brought a lot of chaos, all right? This healing information is gonna help restore, all right? The tower is something that falls and can be rebuilt, just like death, all right? Every ending has a new beginning. And I feel like if you this new beginning is going to bring in a lot of good things because you've got spirit energy around you helping you. And the more you heal, the better things come in. I just saw the Ace of Pentacles. Give me for the tower. We have the star, yep. Yeah. After the tower comes healing comes rejuvenation, comes hope, faith, optimism, all right? So I feel like right now you feel like you may have like, yeah, we got an earth sign in here. There needs to be some type of pain, something that needs to be released. All right, I'm getting heavy mother energy with the queen of pentacles and the empress. All right, so healing is key. It's the Seven of Pentacles and the Empress. Invest your time in healing. All right, that is when you're going to see things grow. But then we do have here the Ten of Swords. All right, after despair, we do have here the Eight of Swords with the Five. We saw that in the beginning, and there's the Moon. All right, so it's time to see beyond the veil. It's time to see beyond the illusions. It's time to just find that strength to go in and do the deep healing work, all right? So healing is key to pull you out of this despair, all right? It very well could be a mother here, all right? Motherly figure. So that's pretty much what I have. I feel like there's more that I need to freaking say, but it's like, it's not coming out. Sometimes it's meant for a later time. You are always loved with the little sea otters is what I just saw. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. Oh, we got one that flew here. We got the dog. All right. And then we have the summer. All right. So maybe something happened in the summer here. We have here the badger. Be fearless and bold and sweet results will await. All right, animals can bring healing. Pay attention to dogs and trust in divine detours here with the coyote here. All right, it's kind of like the moon. We don't always see everything, but everything has its purpose. Things happen for a reason. Let's get the last animal here. It was the otters. All right, the hummingbird speaks of being here in the now with the eagle spirit. So spirit has your back. Just trust, all right? So pay attention to this. Love is all around you here. And I already felt that. All right, so be here in the now. Focus on healing. Get out of the past. Get out of the future, all right? No matter how hard it is. And we have to be here also. All right? Bask in the joy of light and love and good things. So I'm going to leave that there. There may be a part two because I feel like there's still something else. All right. Have a good day.